Hey, welcome to the Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about scaffolds in Hexo. Scaffolds are basically templates that the different types of pages on your Hexo site are going to use and they're going to inherit some default information from. I want to start by creating a new Hexo file. So I'm just going to type Hexo new, we'll call this A. And what I want you to notice is this A file, without me having to do anything to it, automatically has front matter inside of it. It has this tags field, the date field, and the title field. Now I want to make another hexo file. I'm going to make hexo new, and this time we're going to make a draft, and we're going to call this B. And this new draft also, just like that post file, has some default front matter. But the default front matter that gets created inside of this draft file was different than the default front matter that got created inside the A file. Finally, I'm going to make a new, another new file. We'll call it hexo new. And this time we'll just make a page and we'll call it C. And inside of this C file, you'll notice that once again, it has default front matter, but that default front matter is different from the post front matter and the draft front matter. So you might be asking, why is this? Why do all of these three types of files have different default front matter? And the answer is scaffolds. Over here, we have this scaffolds folder. And inside of it, you'll see that there's three files, draft, page, and post. Let's click on this draft file. You'll notice that there's two items here. There's title, and then we have these curly brackets with title inside, and there's tags. Over here on this b.markdown file, which is a draft, it has the same exact tags, except now instead of having that curly brackets uh, title thing, it just has the actual title. The same thing is true for this page markdown file. In this page markdown file, we have title and we have date, again with these curly brackets. If we go to our page file, this C file down here, it has the same thing, except instead of those curly brackets, it has the actual title and the actual date. And I'm not going to show it to you, but the same thing is true for this post file. So this post MD is the same. Basically what's happening is when you ask Hexo to create, for example, a draft file, Hexo goes into the scaffolds folder and it says, do we have a scaffold for the draft type of file? and it finds this draft.md file and says, okay, we do. So now Hexo is gonna use this default front matter and you can also create default content for the new file. So if I was to come into this draft file and let's say we wanted to add an author field here and we can just set it equal to me, set it equal to Mike. Now when I make a new draft file, we'll call this D, Hexo is going to automatically include this author field inside of that new file. So you can see it's right here. Another thing we can do is you can also create default content. So you can just type in any sort of like markdown content that you want. And when we make a new file, Hexo will automatically populate that new file with the default content. So controlling your scaffolds will allow you to control what default information is included in your file. So imagine you're writing a blog post and maybe at the end of every blog post you wanted to include like the same little blurb of information. You could easily put that blurb of information inside one of your scaffolds and then you don't have to worry about including it because whenever you generate your new file, it's automatically gonna get included in there. So that's the basics of scaffolds. And we can actually take this a step further and you can create your own custom scaffolds. The way that you do that is just by making a new file inside this scaffolds folder. Let's call this draft. And it's gonna be a markdown file. Inside this draft.markdown file, let's say that we wanted to have some default front matter. Now, if you haven't caught on yet, these curly brackets with these words inside of them, these are basically placeholders for values. And so what this is, this title thing is basically saying, hey, whatever the title of the page is, in, in other words, whatever the user enters in down here as the title, I want to put that in here. This date is basically saying whatever the date is of the 
uh, whatever the date is when the file gets created, I want to put that in there. There's also another one we can create, or it's called layout, and you can put in the layout. So this will tell you what layout the file is actually using. And so this is our new scaffold, right? It's draft.md, and I've added my own custom content. The way that I can make a new file for draft is to just type hexo new and now I want to type in the scaffold name so it's just going to be draft and then we can just call this f and so now hexo is going to create a new file f and it's going to put it inside of this post folder but notice that f is now using this draft layout and so it's a layout that's different from a normal post so if you want to create your own custom layouts you can do that by just following the steps that I just did. So that's sort of a basic uh, introduction into scaffolds. If you make different scaffolds for different types of files in your website, then it'll seriously improve your workflow and make it a lot easier for you when you're making new content. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.